Okay, so today we will do a bit challenging. Okay, a question with a little bit of challenging challenges. Okay, so instead of asking you straight away from this thing into in Bangladesh, which is super, super, super sangat senang, very easy. All right, because this one they already given you thing all this uh, buti run. You just need to follow the what abadli. Then you can do the whole thing. All right. But for this question three, is a different type of question. This question three, they want you to do uh ke dalam buku dengan dalijah. So this is what we learn from bab uh bab empat dan lima. Is it? So you can see that in your principal recounan, all the questions are actually connected. From bab one to bab two, bab three, bab four, bab five, bab six, bab seven, bab eight, bab nine. So all these bab, all these chapters, they are connected. So if your one chapter is not good, let's say your chapter five is is very bad, okay, or you skip your chapter five, you ta uh belajar, okay, then you ta boleh buat soalan ini lah. You get what I mean? So, in order to, if you're the kind of uh, students, the type of student to aim for 90 marks for all your exam, your principal recount, then your all chapter 1 to chapter 9, you must know. You must know all the concept. Okay? Or even 80, you must know. Okay? If you don't want to get so high mark, then... Uh, that one, I don't know. Lah, okay, you're good at it. <laughs> okay, so here I only teach you to get high marks. Okay, other than that, uh, you if you are not here for high marks or you are, you are here to fill your paper, then uh, you don't need to come here. Lah, all right, you go to other places. You don't need to spend money to uh, attend tuition or these uh, recordings. You don't need to waste time for that. All right, but then when you come here, make sure that your goal, your target is to hit at least 70 and above. That's my target for you. At least 70. But of course, you yourself have a different goal. Maybe you want to get 90 plus, 80 plus. Like up to you. But as long as it is 70 than atas. Okay, if it is 70 and below, then you need to readjust your goal. Reset your goal. Okay? But then if you are here just to play around, Okay, uh, give face to your parents because your parents ask you to come here and attend the tuition. Uh, then you tell your parents you don't need to waste time, don't need to waste money, okay? Straight away, uh, pack your thing and uh, leave, okay? But here, we aim for success, okay? So, let's do this question, question three. Okay, so question three first, we post all this Urus Nyaga into Bukun Tunai, then Ledger. Why is it Buku Tunai than Ledger? Because Buku Tunai, in Buku Tunai, they are account, bank, and account Tunai. Alright? So, when you, you got a Buku Tunai, maksudnya in Ledger, we don't need to book up another account bank or account Tunai. Alright? We only have to book up account lain-lain, macam account kenderaan, account... Uh, account premise, account kada bayaran, account blah, blah, blah. But then account bank dan account tunai, you don't have to book out again. Why? Because kita sudah ada buku tunai. Alright? Okay. So, now take out your notebook. So, let's do this question. Yeah. Question 3. So, you guys ready for question three? If yes, you type a three in the chat box. Tiga. Type three and you're ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, before we go into working let's analyze first um uh, should we do that yeah let's analyze 
what account we need to open. All right, so that um, you have a clearer picture later. All right, so let's read. For the 1st May 2020, Mark memasukkan 25000 ke dalam bank sebagai modal bagi memulakan Mark Co yang menjual telefon bibit. So remember, Mark Co, our business, uh, adalah untuk menjual telefon bibit. Okay, we are here to sell uh, phone. Okay, gadget. Okay, telefon bimbit. Beliau menjadi pengurus dan mengupah seorang pekerja untuk membantunya. So, uh, beliau, I mean, this uh, Mark is the pengurus, the manager or the, you know, the, the boss and the manager lah, right, to manage the the business. And then, dan mengupah seorang pekerja. So, um, Mark also hire uh, a, a person, a pekerja to help him. Right, so Mark sendiri dan satu pekerja. And there are only two persons in the shop okay, to run this uh, telephone bimbit business. Okay, so sepanjang bulan May 2010, diurus niaga berikut telah berlaku. So May 2, what? Membeli almari pameran 1,350 dengan cek untuk kegunaan uh, kedai. Alright, so you beli almari Dengan apa? Dengan check. Alright? So, when you are doing this kind of thing, now we need to post into ledger. When we post into ledger, you always need to remember the system called system catatan begu. Okay? System catatan begu in English are always mentioned. Double entry. So you can see that if you don't understand what is the system catatan begu, then you translate into English double and three. Maksudnya, each urus niaga, all these are called urus niaga. Urus niaga means from here to here. This is urus niaga on second. This is a urus niaga. All these things are the urus niaga. So each urus niaga, let's say second of me, memang ada double entry. Memang there are two uh, account that we need to Enter that is called a double entry, meaning debit and credit. You see, these are the things that we learn in chapter what right, chapter five. Right. So this is called double entry. So when I debit that account, I must credit another account. So there are two accounts. So here in May 2nd, there are two accounts here. Can you see now? When you beli Amari, then you have to. What? When you buy a Amari, Amari comes in, then what goes out? You buy it. When you pay, your money goes out. So you can see that now you need to debit the account Amari, which is a per boat, and then you need to credit bank check. Okay? So I think, yeah, I don't need to write down. Huh? So I will just highlight a key point here for you to see. Then later we post into the account straight away. All right? So now, 3rd of May. Membeli 50 telefon bimbit dengan secara kredit. So, this is a keyword. Membeli secara kredit. Now, you know. Okay, so this is the ABB. Alright, what is the ABB? Account belum bayar. Account belum bayar. So, when you beli, then there's account belian lah. Alright, so dari pada siapa, then you must uh, write in the account belum bayar. Okay, six. Mengeluarkan cek untuk kegunaan Penegaan. So when you see mengeluarkan cek untuk kegunaan penegaan, this is for penegaan, bukan uh, ambilan. Maksudnya, this is actually a contra. You still remember how to record contra. Alright, you mengeluarkan wang cek from bank for own use. So example, I got money in my bank. So when you go to an ATM machine, it's like that. Okay, something like that. So you put in your card, then you press the six pin. Okay, the toot, 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 and then you see your the screen on the ATM, you got how much? Let's say here you got 10,000 ringgit. Okay, so in your ATM machine, you see your account under 10,000 ringgit. So now, you keluarkan, let's say, 1,000 ringgit 
untuk kegunaan peniagaan meaning from your bank account you take out 1000 ringgit the cash 1000 ringgit tunai is for kegunaan peniagaan can you see so the so this is the urus niaga from the money come out so how do we record this you see all right so this is what we call a contra because it's still money but the money just change from the bank into tunai and we they didn't say pay for what they didn't say kita beli kereta ke atau beli uh, barang niaga atau what they just say mengeluarkan untuk kegunaan perniagaan are you guys clear if you just give me a one in the chat box in the chat box satu Okay, so I think let's not waste time. Okay, better go and uh, do open account. Okay, so there is more. You can see how you record. Then later, don't need to explain twice. All right. Okay, so let's book out your ledger. Your ledger means the bentuk kila, right? So here is a record of which you can dalam buku tunai dan ledger. Okay, so let's open a ledger. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Then draw a line here, then a line here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, around there. Lah. Okay, up to you how many spaces you want. Okay. So this is account blah 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 blah. Okay, so you must have your always remember must have your tarik, your booty run. So this this the first uh, column is for your tarik, the second column is for your booty run, and then this is for folio. Oh, normally folio we just keep it, but we just run uh, put there lah. So for your information, so this is amount. So same on your credit side, tarik, booty run. Folio and amount. So maybe I give some space for the book to run. While the folio is, uh, we don't need much of the space, so I can make it smaller. But the to run needs to be bigger, something like that. Okay, so this is the format for your ledger, which is the key account. All right. Okay. So this will be the same thing for all. Okay, but as I told you, whenever you do this kind of question, your ledger on your exam, okay, maybe the first one, we can put this all the direct, we can label down, okay? But then when you go to the second one, third one, fourth one, you don't have to waste time to write all this again. Okay, faham tak? You tak perlu buangkan masa untuk menyediakan ini lagi. Okay, you already know this is the Butina folio amount. So in your next account, you just straight away throw in the figure. Because we already know this column ni adalah untuk tarik, column ini adalah untuk butiran, blah, 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 blah. Faham tak? If faham, you give me an F in the chat box. Right? Because in exam, in order to score good marks for your pre -account, Bukan sahaja you must have the knowledge and understanding of what you're doing. The second thing is the time management, which I always talk about it. Like I need my students to know about this time management thing. All right. So you, yes, very good. You know all the chapter from bab satu sampai uh, bab sembilan. But then if you don't know how to manage the time to do the questions, at the end, you cannot finish the questions by the, uh, with the time given to you. This so time management is very important. So these are the small little things that help you to save time and finish the paper in time. All right. Okay. So let's continue. Okay. So now let's start from May duo. Ah. So May duo. This is by the way. This is tahun twenty twenty. So at first, every time must have this year. Okay. This one double skip. Ah. The the year and the ringgit Malaysia must have. For every account. So now let's see. May 2nd, membeli Almari Pameran. So when we say Almari Pameran, this is a perabot. 
And then when you see the check, always referring to bank. Okay, these are all the keywords. All right, Almari Pameran, we put into account bank. Check, we put it as account bank. Oh, sorry, did I say the bank twice? I mean, Almari Pameran into account per robot and check into account bank. All right, so now, after knowing what account, second thing is, is it in or out? Okay, don't do go debit and credit first. You think the when you believe per robot, yeah, we break down to two. Huh? Now we talk about per robot first. Okay. When we believe per robot, when we buy per robot, per robot it too comes in thing, huh? per robot it too comes in into our business atau dia keluar daripada business kita. Think. If you think is in, then you put it in. In. Masuk. If you think it's out, keluar, then you, you put keluar. We are talking about parabot. Type, put it in your chat box. What do you think? In? Yes, in. Because when kita beli, let's say you go to a supermarket, you buy sayo, you buy bobohan, all the fruits, then of course you bring it in into your house, lah, right? So the same thing when you buy parabot, beli, the parabot minimum comes in. So when you know that the parabot comes in, in means what? In means debit in accounting. Therefore, we have to debit our account per robot. Okay, now, this is per robot. Now, second thing, check, which is bank. So now, when you beli barang, you go to supermarket, when you beli barang, the money actually goes out or come in. Type again in your chat box. Keluar atau masuk, your wang. When you beli barang, nega. When you beli barang, dalam pasar. The money goes out. So when the money goes out, out in accounting means credit. Ah, all right. So you can see that now it's complete because I said again, system jangan bergu double entry. So double entry memang ada satu debit, satu credit. And now I already figure out what is debit and what is credit. So we got account per robot. So just now I say account per robot, kita beli, so comes in, in means debit. So here is the debit side, here is the credit side. Remember, uh, debit side on the left, credit side on the right. Okay, so when we say debit per robot, meaning in the debit side of your account per robot, we record the figure, the amount. All right, so this is on May 2nd. Then how much? You believe 1,350. Okay, but what do I write uh, in this butiran? So in this butiran, I have to write where do I link it to? Okay, so if this is account bank, double entry, one is account bank, then the other account is what? The account bank lah, in this Uruz Niaga in 2nd May. So account bank, right? So here you put bank. Because I'm using my check, 1350 to, to trade, to exchange. For a parabot. That's why in this butiran I put bank. So now in this butiran you put bank, all right? Then I have to open the account bank. But 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 take note. Do we have to book our account bank? The answer is no. Why we don't need to do account bank? Then meaning you double ah double credit no. Remember the question? That's why I always read the question carefully. The question say, merekokan urus negara terus ke dalam buku tunai dan ledger. So, we have to do a buku tunai. You still remember? So, when we need to do a buku tunai, in the buku tunai, there is what? There is bank and tunai already. Maksudnya, we record into our buku tunai. So, now, let's do our buku tunai. So, uh, we'll put it here. Alright, so, in your buku tunai, do you still remember the format? We must have the tarik the butiran and then folio discount the berry the yeah the berry lepas to uh two nine and bang yeah then same thing goes to your credit side. Tarik, 
butyran folio canon. You, you just need to change this. Okay, instead of discount debury, we call it discount determinant because on the credit side, we will have to receive uh, the discount. Okay, discount determinant. Let me do some uh, changes of position so that you guys can see it clearer. Oops. Put it to nine for you. I have to go Okay, here's the other Put it to run, Tari. Put it to run for you. Scandi Burby, two nine. Bang, Tari. But then I think he also not too good, right? You know, it's my time. Okay, then put it back. Okay, so let's don't do anything to it first. Let's do it first. Yeah, we go up again. Yeah, yeah, that is All right. Then this is uh, I need to move a little bit. This one put your folio smaller, my right? Okay. And then put your normally we need more spacing most this much and this one i try to make it as narrow as possible so this is your your buku tunaira right okay then make sure you got the t look mm. and here the mid -time. This is your buku tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, so this is a book tonight. Tari Butiran Folio, this one the tonight. Bang, Tari Butiran Folio, this one the Tarima tonight. And bang. So you can see that the account. Two nine and account bank is here. About that, it's got account two nine and account bank. So that's why we don't need to uh book up account two nine and account bank again. This is what I mean when I say you don't need to book up again because we got book tonight already. Okay, are you guys done with this uh bundle, uh, Sorry, are you guys done with this book two nine table? Like all these things. If Suda, you give me a D for done in the chat box. So you need to aga aga the spacing. Lah. So normally booty run, you need more spaces. And then folio, we hardly need any spaces for it. So you can put it like smaller. All right. And then tare, aga sendirila, discount tonight bank will be all the figures. Lah. All right. Okay, done. Okay. If done, then let's continue. So we stopped halfway just now. All right. We're still in 2nd of May. So I already debit my bank all right sorry i mean sorry i already debit my account per robot now i have to go to my bank because i mentioned bank here so go to my account bank which is my buku tonight and because just now i already debit my per robot 
Now I need to credit my bank. Why credit bank? Because money goes up. When you buy uh, for your almari, the money will keluar. When it keluar, maksudnya I have to credit my account bank. So in the credit side here, Tari, same thing. I have must have the tahun. And then all this discount, diterima, 29 bank must have the ringgit Malaysia. Okay, 2020. Okay, so 2020 in the credit side, we put same tarik May 1, sorry, May 2. And then Butiran, what do I write? So Butiran, we write back from to where? To the Parabot. Can you see it? So they are like twins. So here you need to write back Parabot. And remember, yeah, in your Butiran, you cannot, you can never write the same thing as your head. So let's say a Butiran. Uh, you're, you're under buku tunai, then your butiran can never put buku tunai. Alright? Or tunai or bank because you are under them. So your butiran, you don't need to mention all this again. Okay? Like here. Your parabot is here. Maksudnya, your butiran can never be parabot. Tak akan sama bunya. Okay? Must be another account. That's why it is debit and credit. System cara bergu. Alright. So this parabot, the... 1,250 is what? Dengan check, which is bank. So, bank and the bank column, you put 1,350. That's it. That's how you could. So, now, I already debit my parabot and credit my buku tunai. So, I already completed the system cerdan buku, which is the double entry debit credit. Okay, are you guys okay with second? If okay, you give me two in a chat box. The can duo dalam chat box. So later I will show you how to go from here into your uh your imbangan duga. Right? You might think it's very hard, but actually it's very very simple to come from here after you completed all your leisure and buku tunai. Then you go to your imbangan duga. It's very, very smooth and simple. Okay, I will show you later. Okay, now, third. So, you believe 50 telefon bimbit. We are what? Kita, menegan kita jual telefon bimbit. So, when kita beli telefon bimbit, maksudnya, this is our barang niaga. You know what I mean? So, kita sekarang beli 50 barang niaga secara kredit. So, I told you a lot of times already. When you beli secara Credit, beli such a good, when you beli barang niaga, memang ada satu benda panggil apa? Belian. Belian, account belian. And when it is such a credit, then you must take this name. They will give you name. Syarikat John lah, kedai apa lah. Okay? So when you see beli such a credit, you must take the name already because this is such a credit. Alright? So Syarikat John, if you beli, so, so Sharika John is your beli see that, that B maksudnya at the end must be B. So it should be called A B B. Maksudnya account belum bayar Sharika John. Okay, so these are the two accounts that we need to record. Account belian and account belum bayar. So when you beli telephone bimbi, telephone bimbi itu akan maksud masuk atau keluar. It comes in or go out. When you buy thing, the thing will come in. In means debit. Betul tak? Therefore, we have to debit our account belian. So, you open an account belian. Like here. So, must have year. Ring in Malaysia. Can you see it? So, I don't need to rewrite all the tarik butiran again. So, you just straight away into the point. Straight into the point. So, ring it Malaysia. Okay, so just now I say I have to debit my belian because I believe barang barang comes in. So debit means in the debit side here, you put May, the month, May, and then the date, third. Okay, from where? So dari pada syarikat John. Is it or not? So here you can see we put syarikat John or I would prefer you guys to write the whole thing. Account belum via Sharikat John. 
so that you know when you look at Sharika John, A Y Sharika John, oh, Sharika John is an account volume buyer. So when I write A B B here, you don't follow me, ah, because I want it to be fast. So I write A B B, and because my Excel here is a bit, ah,、uh, the space is limited, so I I put Sharika John. But for you guys, A B B, you should write the whole thing, which is account volume buyer, macam tu. Right, so that you know what is ABB because when you write ABB here, you follow me here. Maybe you don't know what is ABB, so better you write the whole thing. Account belum bayar then dot dot syarikat John. Okay, berapa? So now here it requires some kind of calculation. So here dia bagi pada harga senarai eight thousand five hundred. So eight thousand five hundred is the original price. Discount ni agak is ten percent. So how much is the discount ni agak ten percent? It goes to use eight thousand five hundred times ten percent. You get eight hundred fifty. Or not? So eight thousand five hundred minus eight hundred fifty. What do you get? So this will be the harga that we have to pay. Eight thousand five hundred minus eight hundred fifty. You get seven thousand six hundred fifty. So this is the amount that ah、uh, for your budget. So when I debit my account Berlin, I need to credit this account, which is the ABB Sharika John. So I open account ABB account belum bayar Sharika John. So here. Just now I already debit my bullion. Now I need to credit my Sharikat John. So in the credit side, May third. So I write back from where from bullion, right? So here you write bullion, and it is seven thousand five hundred and sixty. Okay or not? If okay, give me an okay in the chat box. So all these thing you learned before already, okay? In the previous chapters, alright. So if you forget, then you need to go and revise it. Alright. So next, so third done. So I read that bit and credit mah. So done. Okay. So six, mengeluarkan check thousand two hundred untuk kegunaan pendidikan. So this is the one that I mentioned just now. I say you go to ATM machine, you take out money. So the money. Actually, transfer from your bank, from your bank, from check mah right. Dia cakap mengeluarkan check untuk kegunaan penerangan. So the bank into the tunai. Okay, bank to the tunai. So this bank to the to the tunai. If you remember the contract, contract means there are two: B T T B or T B B T. And then we look at this one, the middle one. So see who still remember, ah? So ask you guys question. So from bank to to nine, which one do we use? The first one B T T B or second one T B B T. See who still remember this thing in the chat box. First one or second one? Right, see all of you. Forget already, ah. Okay, so never mind. So from bank to two nine, so we look at where it is at. So from here to two nine meaning in two nine lah. So now the money is in two nine. So two nine means T T. T for two nine, bank for bank. So now you look at the middle one. So T T means Now the money is in two nine, B T T B. So what is B T T B? So you go to your book two nine because this is related to your bank and two nine, right? So you go to your book two nine. So here starting from B ah, you got B T T B. Okay. So this is by the way, this is May six. So we start from B. So in your book you run the B. The B stands for bank. Right, the B stand for bank. The T stand for 
tonight. So tonight here, you have the record. So how much? 1,200. So under the tonight here, you put 1,200. So clear. B, T, and then the T. Another T. So another T will be under your booty run, and you put tonight. It's on six. So B, T, T, B, the last B is your bank. So you go to your bank under the bank here and put the figure 1200 must be the same. Here you can see it's actually B for bank, bank, two nine, two nine, bank. So this is when the money comes from bank into two nine. If they go the other way around, meaning from two nine into bank, now the money is in bank, meaning BB in the middle. So this one, T meaning instead of writing bank, now you write 29. 29, then record under bank. And here you write bank and record the figure under 29. Are you guys clear? If yes, give me a C in the chat box. How about the model? Okay, one question asked. I mean, one student asks, how about the model? There's no model involved here. Okay, there's no, they didn't say, uh, pemilik mengeluarkan, uh, apa, right? Uh, memasukkan wang ke dalam peniagaan. They just say, they mengeluarkan cek 1200 untuk kegunaan peniagaan. So, this is a form of contra. Alright, unless... Oh, May Satu, yes. Thank you so much. All right, so we actually forget about this May Satu, you see? All right, so thanks for reminding me. So actually, there's one thing that we need to record here. And I'm so excited into uh, the second one and I missed out this one. Okay, let's quickly come into here first. Okay, because you see money. So whenever you see money, maksudnya you need to record. Okay? So from by the first May 2020, Mark memasukkan 25,000 ke dalam bank sebagai modal uh, bagi memulakan Mark and Co yang menjual telefon. So you can see that Mark memasukkan 25,000 into the bank. So first thing, the bank, and then the second thing, because Mark is the pemilik, dia memasukkan wang, so is modal. So uh, you bring in your money into the company. So that's your capital, right? So the capital in BM, we call it a model. All right? So when you bring in money, memasukkan wang, you know, so think always from the perspective of a business. Okay? Whenever you feel as a business, satu perniagaan, adakah wang ini masuk atau keluar? So I don't care about mark. Right now, when they are masukkan 25,000 as a business, the money is actually coming in to the peniagaan. So, therefore, I should have actually debit my account bank in the beginning. So, here, I, I think I need to move this down. So, sorry about that. So, this one should be 6. All right. And then here, first May. Okay, so here from where? From modal, right? So I debit my account bank. Bank here, you put uh, 25,000. Right, because the money comes in. All right, so therefore I need to debit my bank. All right, 25,000. So at the same time, I need to open a account modal, right? So you just open another account modal. So here you need to credit because I debit my bank, I have to credit my account model. May Satu to the bank, and this is 25,000. Yep, so this is how you record. So 25,000 here in the bank, and then another 25,000 in your model credit side. You guys okay? So if done this part, you give me a D in the chat box. Mm. Then you give me a D. So you just add one, like uh, you just put some sign, like 
this uh, like this one lah. okay you put it there and then you squeeze in lah. okay may satu more than 25,000 because money comes in so you have to debit bank okay and then you credit your more than 25,000 okay you guys done if done give me a d in the chat box D, 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 D. All right. Okay. Good. Okay. So, so sorry about it. I actually missed out this thing. Okay. So, next, quickly, we go to six, six. Uh, we did done, right? So, that is the BTDB uh, and TBBT, this one. All right. So, this is the July's. I'm sorry, May 6. All right. Then, next, we go to nine. Okay. Nine, you draw 16 telephone bimbi kebada peniaga magum secara credit. So, as always, whenever you see a credit, you memang have to record a account for the name peniaga magum. Right? So, when you draw, whenever you see draw secara credit, so this is a account jualan. You have to open an account jualan. So, account jualan. Okay, So account jualan, when you draw barang, thing, uh, when we draw barang, when you sell thing, the thing, the barang akan keluar atau masuk, you tell me, in or out when you sell. Tell me in the chat box. When you sell the thing, the sell barang niaga, the barang akan keluar out or in. Out. Isn't it? So when it is out, maksudnya I have to out means credit. So you have to credit your account jualan. You see? So here, May 9, you draw barang to where? You sell to the name Syarikat John. So Syarikat John. But then this Syarikat John is actually your what? Account Belum terima ABT because whenever you see a credit, secara credit, then it must be account belum AB. But then I'm not sure is it the account belum bayar atau account belum terima. Alright, so because here you draw, so whenever you see draw, memang link with account belum terima. When you see beli, membeli, then memang link with account belum bayar ABB. So one ABB, one is ABT. So how much you draw secara credit thousand five hundred and thirty. So one five three zero. So I already credit my account jualan. Now I have to debit this account. My account belum terima. So account belum terima. ABT syarikat John. Oh, Syarikat John Malcolm. Eh, why are going to circle this one? Yeah, it's Perniagaan Malcolm. Eh, pula. Yes, thanks for telling me. It's Perniagaan Malcolm. So, this show that you guys are paying attention. Okay, so I purposely do it on. <laughs> so, this is like stupid joke. Perniagaan Malcolm. Okay, so this is Penegan Malcolm on 9th. Okay, so you credit Jalan and then you debit your ABT. All right, why debit ABT? Nah, thing ah, we put it very simple. So when you draw the barang, you sell the thing, the thing goes out of you. All right, so let's say I sell this pen. So when I sell, the pen actually keluar daripada saya to who? To the customer, siapa yang beli dia? All right. So who siapa yang beli? The peniaga Malcolm ah, the pen pen peniaga Malcolm yang kita jual kepada, right? So therefore you debit into the ABT peniaga Malcolm. So May nine, and then jalan. And then thousand five hundred thirty. 
it must be the same. Okay, so we're done for nine. All right, then we go to 11. So 11, memulangkan 8 telefon bimbit kepada syarikat John. Pada harga senarai 1,260, kurang 10% discount. So whenever you see a harga senarai dan kurang 10% discount, then you have to use this and minus this 10% first. All right, so 1,360 minus 10%, which is 10% times this one. 1,360 uh, times 10%, you get 136. Okay, then you do the calculation. 1,360 minus 136, then you get 1,224. So 1,224 is the thing that, keeps, can you see the word or not? Memulangkan. So when you see memulangkan, siapa yang memulangkan? Kita yang memulangkan. So, this will be called a count pulangan. So, a count pulangan apa? So, when kita, when do we pulangkan? We only pulang selepas kita beli. Make sense or not? So, when you go to the McDonald's, you buy burger. Okay, you beli burger, the barang negara. So, after you, you open the burger and see, eh, Kenapa mereka telah kurang satu ayam in the burger? Because you order for mac chicken. So, tapi dalam tak ada mac chicken, tak ada chicken. Hanya ada roti. So, now what you gonna do? Selepas you beli, you nampak ada kerosakan ke atau kurangan apa ke. Then now you have to pulangkan. You have to return back. So, this is after you beli, beli kau belian. Then you pulangkan. So, this is called a account pulangan selepas you beli. So, it's pulangan belian. Do you, do you get it? So, you when you pulangkan, the thing actually goes out of you. Betul tak? So, when it goes out, out means credit. So, you have to credit your pulangan belian. May 11. So, you Pulangkan kepada siapa? Back to Syarikat John. So here you write Syarikat John. The Syarikat John is actually your account. Belum bayar Syarikat John. Johnny. Alright. How much? Just now calculated after you minus the discount. Why have to minus the discount? Because when we buy the thing, kita buy after the discount. Yeah, Remember? You go back. When you go back to third, you see. Kita beli daripada Syarikat John and kurang discount negative 10%. So, when we return, the figure must be minus 10% juga. Alright? Because this is the harga senarai, the price tag. Now, I have to minus 10%. So, equals to 1,224. Alright? So, I already credit my pulangan belian. Then, I have to debit what? Debit my syarikat John. So, just now, I already opened my account belum bayar here. Can you see it? So, here, I debit kan. May... 11 and then here you write from where from your pulangan berlian one two two four that's it so there's your 11 okay then now we go to 13th you can see you draw and then social credit so when we see draw social credit draw means account jalan social credit then you have to write the syarikat kraton the name of syarikat Alright, so very simple. So you draw the barang keluar. Keluar means credit. So you credit your account jalan here on 13th to where? So every time you draw the credit, the, the name of the company is belong to ABT, account volume terima. Alright, then you write Sharikat Croton. And how much? So now you need Kirakan, because uh, you pada harga is 2560 and then we give discount, 10% discount. Negara. So, 2860 minus 10% discount, which is you use 2860 times 10%, you get 286. So, this is a 10% discount. And what do you get? 2574. Alright, so two. Five seven four. Good. So here you put two five seven four. Now 
I credit my jualan, then I have to debit my ABT syarikat kerotong. So, you buka ABT account belum terima syarikat kerotong. Belum terima syarikat kerotong. So, just now I credit jualan, now I have to debit. So, same date, May, bila? May 13. So, you put 13. And then, to where? To your, from your jualan. Okay, so jualan. How much? 2574. So, always the figure must be the same for your debit and credit. Okay, done. 13. Now, we go to 14. Now, see, you buy a check. So, whenever you see check, check means bank. So, that. So, you buy a check kepada syarikat John untuk menjelaskan semua hutang kepadanya. So, how much is the hutang to syarikat John actually? So, when you look at syarikat John, the account syarikat John, hutang is how much? So, actually, I don't know how much is my hutang. So, tadi I got 7,560 and then I minus 1,224. But anyways, let's do this first. You buy a check. So when you buy a check, money keluar, right? So you have to credit your account bank. So you buy a check, one keluar credit bank here. So you're on fourth, fourteenth, and then uh you pay to who? The ABB Sharikat John. And how much you pay? 6,400, you buy a check, 6,400. Okay, so after you credit 6,400 bank here, then I have to debit my, the Sharika John, why? Because here I mentioned Sharika John, right? So I have to debit Sharika John, Sharika John here, 6,400. From bank date is 14. Okay, so now uh, see ah. Uh, so after you put 6400, you skip one line, then here you put one line double line. Follow, follow, follow. Okay, so one line double line. Now you zoom lock on this one 7560, and then you put 7560 here. Because this is Joomla. So debit and credit. <coughs> How come like more? Uh? Wait, let me see. Credit. Hey, no, no, no. So this one, then you Joomla can this one. All right. 7,624. You credit. Hey, you sure you're doing the correct thing? Uh? Let me see again. 6,400 membayar. Untuk menjelaskan semua hutang. This is pulangan belian how much? 11, 8, and then senarai 1,360. Kurangkan 10%. 1,360 minus 1,224. And then the belian is 7,560. Kurang discount. 8,500 times 7,000. Oh, shit. This is 7,650. Karana. 8,500. So this is what we did just now. You 8,500. You minus 10%. 8,500 minus 850. Should be 7,650. And then go and write 7,560. You see? So in accounting, you have to be very, very careful. All right. So then the Joomla put here 7,650. And then here you have to use the Joomla. Minus everything. Minus 6,000. So you use 7,650 minus 1,224 minus 6,400. Yeah, you get 26. All right. So what is this 26? So this 26, we call it a discount determiner. On 14, yeah. 
You see, so let me read this again. Huh? So why I do it this way. So when you buy a check 6,400, I buy a 6,400 kepada syarikat John untuk menjelaskan semua hutang kepada dia. Okay? So, how much is a hutang to John? This now supposedly is 7,650. 7, and then saya ada pulangkan belian. I return something back to them. So, I, by right, I need to minus 1, 2, 2, 4. Alright, so you minus 1, 2, 2, 4, then how much you get? Six thousand four hundred and twenty-six. So this is the amount that saya hutang dia sekarang. Betul tak? Because I ada pulang. Okay, then with this six thousand four hundred twenty-six, I buy a check six thousand four hundred. And then when you buy a check six thousand four, and they say this six thousand four hundred adalah untuk menjelaskan semua hutang. Semua hutang means what? All these things. You get what I mean? So, if I minus 6,400, memang ada 24 lagi. So, maksudnya, at the same time, after you minus, you get how much? Ah? 24 lah, right? So, let me show you. 24. I mean, sorry, not 24. 26. Okay, 6426 minus 6,400, you get 26. So, they say, you just consume more meaning even this 26, you minus off this 26. And why I minus 26? Because this 26, I would take it as a discount yang diterima. So at the end, semua telah jelaskan, which is equal to zero. Are you clear or not? If yes, you give me a yes in the chat box. All right, so you got a discount diterima 26, so you can put it here actually in your discount diterima, Shagat John on 14-26. But at the same time, okay, it's better for you to open a account discount diterima. Even though there's a discount diterima there, but you have to open an account discount diterima. Later, you will know why. But now, you just follow first. All right? So, discount determiner. So, you go. You look back at here. So, discount determiner is in the debit side of your account balloon buyer. Can you see now? Account balloon buyer, you debit. So, when you go to discount determiner, it must be in the credit side. So, May 14. And then here, you write back to the account balloon buyer, Sharikat. John 26. Okay, so that is 14 for you. Now we go to 17. You buy a saver kedai dengan tunai 320. So you buy a saver. Money keluar, right? So when money keluar, tunai keluar, you have to credit your account tunai, which is in your buku tunai. So credit side here on 17. So to mana to save a kedai, save a kedai, we use another term. We call it a save the buyer. So here, how much? Three hundred and twenty. Two nine right. So two nine column, three hundred and sixty. Oh, sorry, three hundred and twenty. So when I credit my two nine, then I have to open a account save the buyer and debit it. So you open account save the buyer. Uh, save the buyer. Then just now I credit to nine, right? So now I need to debit my save the buyer. May 17. And then here to your to nine. 324. Done. Done for this one. Okay, that, that's another one here. Okay, so another part. So, you draw telephone bimbi kepada GDY secara kredit. So, I told you when you draw, maksudnya there's a drawn account and then there's a account volume terima syarikat GDY because this is secara kredit. Alright, and you see, tak ada harga senarai and 
kurang 5% discount yang maksudnya I have to minus this discount. So 3,900 minus 5% is how much? 390, 390 divided by 245, 1A, more than that, 195, okay, minus 195. So this 195 is your 5%, correct. All right, and then 3,900 minus your 195, then you get 3,705. So this is the amount yang kita draw. Okay, so lepas discount. All right, so you draw barang, barang keluar, then I have to credit my jualan. So here, 17, to siapa? Your account belum terima, uh, syarikat GDY, and then uh, 3,705. After I credit my jualan, then I have to open this account, lah, right? So... This is very uh, repetitive. So it's the same thing over and over again. So account, sharikat, GDY, GDY. And then just I credit my Jolan. So now I have to debit my sharikat GDY. And then here put run from Jolan. And then it is 3,705. The amount has to be the same. Okay, so 17 done. Okay, now we go to 19. 19 is syarikat korta menghantar cek untuk menjelaskan separuh-separuh means half. Okay, remember separuh means half. One over two, half. Okay, daripada hutan ni. So, syarikat korton. Who is syarikat korton? So, when you look back, syarikat korton is actually our ABT. Okay, Shaka Croton is our ABT, 2,574 here. So, sekarang, the ABT want to pay us back the money because account belum terima maksudnya wang belum terima daripada syarikat Croton. So, sekarang, syarikat Croton hantarkan cek kepada kita. Cek means bank. And then, menjelaskan separuh meaning half. Half of how much? This amount, 2,574. So, when you use 2,574, divide by 2, it is 1, 2, Eight seven. So one two eight seven. Dia hantarkan check kepada kita. So kita akan menerima check. When you menerima check, bank masuk right. So I have to debit my bank because check is bank. So money comes in. I debit my bank on nineteen. From where? From ABT Sharikat Croton, and then bank. 1287. So here I debit my bank. So I have to credit my Sharika Croton. So you can see that in Sharika Croton, ABT Sharika Croton credit side, May 19 from the bank. 1287. Done. 19. All right. Then we move on to 21. So, so far, you guys following. If yes, give me a F in the chat box. Yeah. All right. So, now, 21. Mark mengambil wang tunai 120 untuk bayar insurance for everybody. Uh, you, see, no? you see the keyword ambil and then peribadi. Uh, memang, this is an ambilan. Other word for peribadi, sendiri. Kediaman. Okay? Anak. Anak. Sendiri. Excuse me. Okay? So, whenever you see ambil wang tunai untuk insurance, what is insurance for everybody? Meaning, your own insurance. The pemilik is using the company money, the business money to pay for his own insurance premium. So, when your own, maksudnya, this is a kind of ambilan because this is not an expenses of a company. Ini bukan belanja uh, penegan ini. Therefore, I have to take it as an ambilan. Alright? So, uh, ambilan, okay, if you're not sure how to record ambilan, then you have to think of this tunai. So, wang tunai, you akan keluar lah because when Mark ambil wang tunai, 
So from the business perspective, I told you because of entity perasingan, so there's a business and the pemilik. This is a business. So when pemilik ambil, maksudnya wang itu keluar daripada business into the pemilik, right? So when keluar maksud out, out means credit. So your tunai actually keluar on 21st. So to where? To ambilan because this is an ambilan. So how much? Uh, 120 under your tunai. So now I mentioned ambilan. So I have to open an account. Ambilan for it. Account. Ambilan. So I credit tunai. I have to debit ambilan. May 21st. Ambil tunai. 120. That's why in the A Bali, you can see that the ambilan is in the debit side when bertambah. Okay, so this is 21. So we go to 24th. Menerima tunai 3,705 daripada syarikat GDY. So you terima tunai, maksud your money comes in. Money comes in means I have to debit my account tunai. So firstly, you go to here. From where? From syarikat GDY. Who is syarikat GDY, by the way? So you maybe you can check back like the questions in the previous questions or you look at your account. That's why I asked you to write all this A, B, B, A, B, D. So syarikat GDY, GDY, GDY. Oh, okay, you see, you forgot to write. I mean, not you, me. Okay, so this syarikat GDY is actually from uh, account jualan. Maksudnya, this ABT GDY, lah, right? Okay, so account belum terima syarikat GDY. Okay, so this is ABT syarikat GDY. So, here, syarikat. GDY because I terima wang, so I debit tunai. So when I debit tunai, I mention about syarikat GDY, then I have to, if surplus debit, I have to credit. So I have to credit my syarikat GDY here. So May 24, and then tunai, and then proper 3705. Here you can see that. 3705, 3705 is already inbound. So you can sure we do this thing if you want to. You can do it now. Double line. Meaning, you see, inbound. Lah. So when this is inbound, then you can do this double line straight away. Okay, because later we still have to do it anyways. If you don't want to do now, you can also later. Okay, now 26. Mark Pomila Kedai mengambil. Okay, you see, mengambil eh, ambil lana. Okay, wait, wait till the end first. Okay, tiga telefon bimbit dari, uh, dari stock kedai yang berkos. 170 setiap satu untuk kegunaan kena gak okay. Untuk siapa? Untuk kegunaan kelogan. Maksudnya is for your own self also. Okay, so this is a ambilan juga. Tapi dia ambil apa? They didn't say dia ambil tunai. Dia ambil stock. Tiga telefon bibit daripada uh, stock kedai yang berkos 170. So do you recall 170? The answer is no. Dia cakap setiap satu. Berapa yang kita ambil? Tiga telefon bibit. So, now we have to use 170 setiap satu darab dengan tiga because there are three unit yang you ambil. So, how much do you get? 170 times three, you get 510. So, this is the amount yang you ambil. From where? From your billion. Okay? Because this is a stock. So, when you ambil dari stock, you don't write inventory, yeah? you write billion. Okay? So, now you think. You ambil barang, so back to this one. You ambil barang, maksudnya barang itu keluar to your, the pemilik keluarga punya, uh, pemilik punya keluarga. So out means credit. So I have to credit what? Credit my billion. Because now I ambil stock. So I credit my billion. May. Uh, 26. So this is an ambulance. So this is a special case, uh, a little bit special, 510. So I unbill, I credit Berlin, then I have to debit my ambilan. 
So you can see that your ambulance most of the time is debit. 26, ambulance volume. 510. Okay. Then next, the 26, last two, 30. You pin the 29,500 to bank. All right, you pin the, so this is the upper contra. By the way, this is not the contra that I put the K there. So this one I talk about the BTDB and TBBT. So like the six, right? So whenever you have BTDB or TBBT, a contra, you must put a K in the folio so that people know that this is a contra K. All right. So come back to here. So when you pin a two nine a bank, so two nine into bank, two nine into bank. So now where the money is at now in the bank. So if it is in the bank, so we need to use T B B T because. Look at the middle one. So BB in the middle, Maksunya, the money is in the bank now. You get what I mean? So if it is a B, T, T, B, meaning the money is in the 2 9. Ah, so but now it's PINDA 2 9 ke bank. So is this one? So use it again. So T stands for what? 2 9. So you put 2 9 there. In the put you run, in the book 2 9. So 2 9, T for 2 9. The B stands for bank. So bank, how much? You pin down 1,500 ringgit. Okay, T, B. The third one is your bank also. So B for bank. The third. And then the last is your T. Is it T, B, B, T? Yeah, so the T is your 29 also, 1,500. So under your 29, 1,500. Is it? And this is a contrast. So you put a K again. Boom. Set the third. Get it? Now, the last one, 31st. You buy a gaji, 250 kepada pembandu kena dengan check. So, you buy a gaji, gaji, account gaji, and you dengan check. Check means bank. So, when you buy a gaji, your money actually goes out. You buy a man, right? So, money goes out, keluar, then I have to credit my account bank. So, here, 31st uh, for gaji. So, account bank, 380. So, when I credit my bank, I have to debit my account gaji, lah, right? So, when I account gaji, account gaji. So, just I credit my bank, right? I credit bank here credit bank so now in my account gaji i need to debit so may 31st bank 380 boom then we completed the whole thing okay so are you guys done? If yes, give me a D O N E done. Done. Okay, if done, you know what to do, right? So after you completed everything up to 31st, the next thing that you need to do is what? Is to close all the accounts. You remember how to close? Meaning you hunt that to HB and BB. So let's start from the top. Let's do it together. If you are fast, you can go ahead first. Okay. So let's say this one. 1350. So what you can do is same line here. You can sure we close it. Put a double line, this thing. And then here you got 1350. Here should be 1350 or so. Because as I said, in bank, it should be in bank balance. So, here will be on the last date, which is May will be 31st, lah, right? So, here you put Baki HB. HB means Handa Kebawa. So, when you have a Baki HB, there must be a Baki BB. So, the Baki BB should come from a HB. So, HB is 1250. Then, here will be 1250 also. 
All right. So this after May 31st will be the next day is June 1. So 31st is June 1. Okay, so you do the same thing again. Okay, uh, for this valian, you cannot straight away do this because there is debit and credit figure. You see now? So what you do is skip a line and here, double one line, double line. Okay, then you see which side is bigger. That is all right, 7,560. This one is just 510. So here, you take down 7,560. And then here, you put 7,560. 7,560. 7,000, yes, should be 7,650. Yes, you're right. Because just now, this one, right? Yeah, just I put the wrong figure. So this is a share card joining together. So it should be 7650. If uh, if here I put 7560 and here's 7650, later my imbang memang ta imbang bunya. All right. So these are the small little things that will help you to imbang your imbang and All right. So you need to be careful with the numbers also. All right. So 7650, 7650. So you can see that 510 name doesn't equal to 7650. Therefore, what you need to do is you tola. You use the jumla, tola to 510, you get 7140. So this 7140 is your part key, HB. So when you have a HB, you must have a BB on the other side. So here, part BB, 7140. So this is after the first will be. June 1, so it's standard. All right, then this one, BB, ABB, Sharika John, just not really close it. Then your model, since it's, there's no figure in your debit side, so you can just straight away do this one, just straight away double line. It goes to 25,000. And then this one is your Baki HP. May. 31st after your HB on the other side will be DB from your HB here. So this one after 31st will be June 1 next month. Okay, then your Jolan, you got a lot of figure here, ma. right? So you need to add them up first and see what is the Joomla. So you Joomla can. So the 7,809. So here the same. So what is this figure? So here, this one minus zero equals to 7,809, right? So this one is your Baki HP. So your HB, you have a Baki BB. 7,809. Then here, since no, nothing here, then... Very easy. Okay, so here we equals to 1530. Empty one, BHB. Name 31st. And here will become June 1, Baki DB, 1530. Wow. Okay, so this one, same thing or same. So all this you need to be very quick, especially during the exam, because the clock is ticking. Hmm. Then this one, you need to skip a spacer. Right, because there is figure for debit and credit. So now, so which side is bigger? Obviously, debit side, lah, because it's 2,574. So the Joomla should be the same also. Why the Jualan no need to show we write the Joomla ABT? Why do we need to write Joomla ABT? Why? I mean, like, what do you mean? Why need to let me read again? Why the Jualan no need to straight away write the Joomla ABT? Okay, 
So how are you going to jumlah the ABT? First thing you have to ask yourself, why you don't, how do you jumlah the, the jualan here? This is what you mean, right? Why cannot? So your answer should be, say, why cannot straight away put the ABT and then 7,509 in here? Is it what you mean? Yeah. Okay. So wh why do we, when do we put this jumlah 7, uh, ABT 7,509? Is when you go, you remember the question that we do that we straight away put ABT jumlah 7,509 is where you got a journal jualan. And in the journal jualan, at the end, there is an account jualan and the account jualan is the jumlah ready. So if you are posting ledger from buku catan pertama to ledger, uh, then you can straight away take the jumlah figure from your account jualan, I mean, sorry, from your journal jualan and put inside your account jualan and here you can straight away put the jumlah. You get what I mean? But then, that's like what? Uh, that's in your... Uh, yeah, let me show you. Hold on for a while. So that is... Which one will be uh, the ledger one, right? So you see this one? This one I'm talking about. This is ledger. Mm, not this one. Jualan, jualan, account, jualan. Is it this one? Yeah, you see? This one, I should we put it here. Is be is because the question to four. Uh, let me show you. Because the question two is actually a buku catatan pertama. Can you see not? So in your buku catatan pertama, they give you this journal jualan and they give you the sum of account journal 6496 so if they give you this amount you can straight away put it into your here 6496 do you get it now if yes give me a yes but then when we are doing this type of question you see or not ah when you do this kind of like what we're doing now then you go back to my question one and see our working so my account jualan, there's only one ABD kerja cita cita two thousand. Can you see or not? Then I will have, I will mention the name of the kerja like what we are doing right now. Okay, but then when it is the second question, they give you the account jualan jumlah, then you can straight away put it there. Then you can see that I don't write any name because this is a jumlah ABT. Okay, so. Come back to where we are doing this one. Yep. So this one, you see, you need to do one by one because we don't have the buku catatan pertama. Okay. So let's continue to close down all the, the account. So here, double line 26. It'll be 26, 20, 20, May. HPPB.
and then here jumlahkan. So this one done, then this one dijumlahkan, double line, double line, one line, double line. Let's see this figure. This one was like this, and then six hundred thirty. This is your Baki HP. When you have a Baki HP, you have a Baki HP. Then lastly, this one, you can share with double line. Uh, make the big press also, Baki HP, then Baki DB. Okay, but of course, after this one, don't forget about your buku to nine. Need to do the same thing also. Okay, so here, uh, just keep a line and then one and double line now, right? Okay, so you skip a line here. Must be on the same line uh, when you're doing the one line double line. This thing should be a same line. Okay, then you see, yeah, everything here is zero out uh, here. So everything here, uh, everything here goes to 26. So this can be very and this can be terimer. We don't need to do the uh package HB and BB, right? But then two nine and bang, we need to. So you compare two nine. And two nine debit and credit which side is bigger? I think debit side is bigger. So here four thousand nine hundred five because you can tell what here already three thousand. Here is just one thousand, and then the other one is few hundred. So now this one you use four thousand nine hundred and five minus three hundred twenty minus hundred twenty minus thousand five hundred. Then you get two thousand nine hundred sixty five. Right. So what is this? Same thing. It is called a baki HP. All right, then look at your debit and credit side for your bank. Obviously, the debit side is bigger also lah, because there's a 25,000. Here, you don't have any five-digit figure. All right, so here it goes to this one, and then your Baki HB equals to the Joomla minus all these things. 1,250 minus 1,200 minus 6,400 minus 380, and you get 18,457. This is your Baki HB. And when you have a Baki HB, I told you must have a Baki BP. Yeah, later you know why we need to do this Baki BB. Okay, so for the 29, you come from this, lah, right? 2,965. Uh, 2, and then for your bank, you come from here, uh, 18,457. You can see that for discounted terima and discounted berry, we don't have to do any HP for, or BB for it. Why? Because here, I already opened a discount account discount terima. And you see that we actually have an account, uh, Baki BB 26. For this account discount determiner. All right, are you guys done with all the HBBB thing? You guys done with all the HBBB thing? So, anyways, I will continue first, even if you haven't done it yet. Okay, so lastly, what do we need to do? The ultimate thing, the B, you need to menyediakan imbangan duga. Alright, so when they say menyediakan imbangan duga, then it is the uh, bentuk penyata lah, right? So you don't care if it's, they say they don't, even they don't mention P or bentuk penyata, you just write, you just do the bentuk penyata one. Alright, by the way, this is June. Okay. So how you do? So same thing, make sure you have the title, right? So the title, I mean the name of the penyagaan first. So the name of the penyagaan is called what? Uh, Mark and Co. So Mark and Co. Lepas tu, imbangan. Imbangan duga pada when? Pada... 30th May 2020. Okay, then you draw a line. Okay. 
So this is your imbangan duga. And then here you can put Ringgit Malaysia, Ringgit Malaysia, debit, and credit. Hey, sorry, the valley. So here is Ringgit Malaysia, Ringgit Malaysia. Okay, so what you're going to do now is after you've done all the HB and DB, so very simple. So what account you have? Okay, for example, account per abode. You start from what you done, huh? account per abode. So here you put account per abode. Per abode lah. All right? So per abode, now, you just have to focus on your account BB. Sahaja. So let's say per abode, where is your account BB? Here lah, right? 1,250, which site? Debit site. So now, in your per abode, debit site, you put 1,350. That's it. Let me give you another one. Berlian. So, Berlian. So, Berlian punya BB ke mana? Debit side. Can you see not here? The BB. In the debit side, 7,140. So, your Berlian in the debit side, 7,140. You see? You just copy and paste only. ABB. Ada baki BB tak? Tak ada. Tak ada means, you don't have to record. Now, we skip to account modal. Modal, BB in the credit side. So, modal. Credit side, 25,000 based on your Bucky BB. Oops, releasing it. Okay, at least. All right, then after modal, then your Jualan, no? Your Jualan. Bucky BB on the credit side, 7,809. So, 7,809. You see? Very easy. ABT. So now you got ABT. So you just write account balloon terima peniaga melakon baki bb 1530 in the debit side. So here 1530. Non factory. Oh, and then your pulangan belian. So you put pulangan belian. So this VB is in the credit one two two four. So credit one two two four, and then your ABT Shaikat Croton. Ah, uh, you see no BB right? Then we can skip it. Then account discount determiner. Okay, so it is in the credit side twenty six. So here twenty six. Credit twenty six. Okay, then after the discount determiner, what else? Uh, saver di baya debit three hundred twenty saver di baya. So you just copy from there. That's it. Then you can get the final answer. D via 320 in the debit side. After 7 D via, you have ABT, Shagat, GDY, all cleared, no BB. Then we can skip. Then you got account ambulance and account gaji on the debit side. Bilan and Gaji. So each of them is a uh, three six o and three eight o three six o six three o and three eight o. Okay, so ambilan para yeah ambilan six three o gaji. 380, double check. 680, 380. Okay, then last, don't forget about your buku tunai. So here you can see your Baki BB, your tunai, 2965. Okay, tunai, 2965 in the debit side. And then your bank, 18457. Bank, one eight. 
Okay, so after that, done right. So everything ready, throw it. Okay, so all the bucket DB bunya, you put it here based on the debit and credit side. Then you put a one line, double line, and then you jumlahkan the debit side. The jumlah everything here, it goes to 32,772. And on the credit side, oh, GG, you see? How come like that? Okay, then maybe you need to do some 1287. Did I miss out anything? 1287 here. 1287. 1287. Oh, you see, you see. Ah, is it not? So when your imbangan duga is not in bang, all right, then what you can do is you minus. That's what I teach you in last class, right? So after you minus missing 1287, then you look into your ledger. You miss out any 1287 or not. So you can see that actually I missed out this 1287 here and I didn't write anything. Is it? So actually, I missed out the bucket HB here. Okay, 1287. So when you have a HB, then you have a BB here, bucket BB. And it is 1287. So this is, by the way, this is 31st and then this is June 1. Actually, I have to add another ABT, Sharikat Croton. So you just add below here, no worries. You don't have to equal, uh, equal the sequence. So I bring this down, no? okay? So this is one, two, eight, seven. So when you add everything up again, then you get 34,059 on debit and then on the credit, 34,059. So this is your imbangan dugo. Are you guys clear? So that's it. So this is your answer for question three from the beginning to the end. Are you guys clear? If yes, you give me a C in the chat box for clear. And then I'll give you homework. Then you may leave. And I already taken up your extra 15 minutes. Okay, so I, I write you down the homework, then you go home and do. I mean, later at home you do. Because you're already at home, right? So question one, I mean, sorry, page 133, you do question five, question six, and question seven. So these are all what we learn from today's class. All right. And then you just go to page 119 and do a question seven. That is your account cover line. All right. One, three, three, five, six, seven, and one, one, nine, question seven. So total four questions only. Okay. So no question, you may leave. All right. After noting down your homework, then I will see you in the next class. Goodbye.